Darwin's basic theory was that all living things are related to each other like the members of our families are. We are brothers and sisters of parents, and our parents were brothers and sisters of parents, and so on. And animals and plants are the same. They've all descended from common ancestors that went all the way back to the very beginning in a single ancient common ancestor. That was Darwin's basic theory. Um, but he also added to it um, theories of how this descent took place, and one of them is called natural selection, and another one is called sexual selection. Well, well Darwin was a creationist, uh, and by that I mean uh, Darwin himself said, I believe in single creations. He believed that God's laws had brought organisms into existence. God didn't do it personally, by miracles. That's the kind of creationism that people are talking about today. That's the kind of creationism that Darwin opposed and his book, The Origin of Species, is one long argument against miracles creating plants and animals. It was difficult for people to accept Darwin's view of the universe because um, at the heart of this natural selection was a struggle for existence and superior organisms uh, tended to uh, multiply faster than the rest and they would predominate. Some people call that survival of the fittest. And we don't like that amongst humans. I don't like it because it tends to legitimate um, economic liberalism, open competition, uh, survival of the fittest in the marketplace and amongst nations and wars and conflicts. And um, Darwin was a humanitarian. He didn't approve of doing those things, but he did believe that was nature's way of producing progress. Darwin was brought up to hate slavery, the slavery of black Africans. The biggest moral movement in his lifetime was to abolish the slave trade, the transatlantic slave trade, and then to abolish slavery itself. When he came to think about where people came from, he always assumed that the different races were brothers and sisters. Black people were not animals and white people superior humans. We all were related in some way. And so Darwin's theory of common descent is taken from the moral universe in which blacks and whites were considered brothers and slavery should be abolished because we may not enslave our own species, people who are members of our own family. Darwin sets that into the whole world. The worms are our ancestors. Everything is related to us and we should not enslave and be cruel to, to other living things. So at the heart of Darwin's theorizing about evolution is a moral passion not just for the brotherhood of human beings in the different races, but a passion for the unification of all of life in a family sort of relationship. It's hard to understand what we mean by humanist. Uh, some people believe humanist means atheist. Others mean uh, humanist is a person who uh, only cares for humans above all others. Um, Darwin wasn't a humanist in either of those senses. He was a humanitarian. He was a person who hated the sight of blood. He could not bear the suffering of his own children or of animals. Um, his grandfather used to say um, to people who thought they were very important, go proud reasoner and consider the worm thy sister. And Darwin had some of the same attitude himself. He was a humanitarian, um, but at the same time he was a realist. Darwin has many disciples today, people who believe in Darwin. Um, this makes Darwin quite unique. We don't talk about, do you believe in Isaac Newton or do you believe in Albert Einstein? But Darwin, he's an old grandfather sort of guy with a long beard. He looks like Santa Claus, Father Christmas, and Nicholas. Um, everyone loves him. Um, children should trust him and sit on his lap and talk to him. This makes Darwin very dangerous to some people because he's actually considered evil, but Darwin's disciples see him as being a benign kind of saint. School science classes, it's very hard to get children to read um, The Origin of Species. Uh, there are not many adults who've read the whole book and have understood it. Um, but Darwin wrote that book to be understood, and it's full of 
talk about the creator and about creation and God is in it. Um, and in some schools in America, you wouldn't be able to teach the origin of species because it has God in it and you're not supposed to bring religion into science. But I believe the origin of species can be taught, as Darwin wrote it, um, by simplifying it and perhaps giving children easy passages which they can understand and try to explain themselves. The Origin of Species is a tremendous book. Some of it is beautifully written and it helps people understand that there's not necessarily a conflict between believing God and religion on the one hand and creation and believing that God's laws are what bring about life's history on earth. So The Origin of Species is something I think every teacher ought to try to read all the way through, every biology teacher, before teaching classes on evolution. Darwin would be much more happy with teachers who were prepared to say, this is what people believe today about creation, this is what they used to believe about creation, and here's Darwin's alternative to it.